Dear Kenyans, William Ruto said he has no blood on his hands. This means he can't and won't be sorry or compensate for the lives lost by our great youth. The blood on the hands of the MPs, if they did not vote and push for the finance bill, we will not go on the streets and, li and lives will not have been lost. We all know that, guys. These guys have taken us for a ride and they believe they can do anything with this country. I think it is time also for all constituents to make sure that all the homes of the MPs that voted yes are attacked and if they can be burned down it will be good because these guys they don't they have destroyed our country through corruption and they believe they can do whatever they want why do we as kenyans kill small thieves through mob justice and leave the big thieves roam around insult us with our own money the money that they have stolen from the public resources you understand we cannot continue to live like this guys more than 40 lives has been lost in less than one month and they have not been lost because of diseases or anything these lives have been lost by the shootings that have been happening by the government officers under the instruction of william ruto's regime we have lost these people and more many are injured and they have no money for hospital the insurance sector is not working you see like ruto comes and tells us that we need to change from nhif to shift what is shift you understand the agencies that are, that are available they should be made to work we should make them work we should not say that we want to change to this from this to this i think that one will not be the best way to do things so how will we be able to pay them back those kenyans who have lost their lives through this brutal regime of william ruto the brutal corrupt regime of william ruto any politician who has stolen any money should be treated the same way we treat petty thieves thieves who steal eggs thieves who steal a chicken or any small small things we treat them badly and these big thieves that are stealing billions of shillings we elect them to elective posts that one has to stop if we want to move forward as a country get any mp who voted yes and do the thing courage and justice do more justice to them i call upon my kenyans please these mps must be shown no mercy they even if it's to die we have lost 40 lives an eye for an eye moving forward this mp should not come again to the where they their homes is they should be high in hiding as a fugitives for life do not welcome them at home what happened next is all mps will hide and if if any of them has paid for the lives of 40 plus kenyans and they can't hide for long they will all resign because no one will want to live such a life as a fugitive what happens if the MPs resign? Can Ruto run a government without MPs and parliament without any MPs? Of course not. Treat the big thieves and peace just the same way you treat the small thieves, guys. We have no mercy for this. They should not be seen anywhere. They should run for their lives because we are coming for them. This is the plan. Follow it and Ruto must go. An eye for an eye and justice for all Kenyans who died in the past, in a few in less than one month. Does the pressure increase or decrease? Yes, it increases for all Kenyans because this government is very, and up to now they are still very arrogant. The Murkomen and the Sudis, the, the way they talk, the Didmas, Barazas, and their killers, the way they talk, guys, uh, you just feel like you just need to do something about these guys. The eye for the eye and justice for all Kenyans who died. 
these people will not believe guys they will not believe this is just the beginning and we have seven days of rage seven days you understand so the kenyans are saying what we have here is that we have to have tuesdays and all thursdays every tuesday and thursday will be mandamanos so that we can know they should not even be able to collect any revenue they should not be able to collect any revenue we have 14 days of focus gen z aluta continua from 5th to 20th july 2024 41 are dead three are injured some contempt contempt to para paralysis some are paralyzed families have been shattered lives forever have been altered all the demanding better all for demanding a better governance and accountability in kenya abusing state resources to terrorize and brutalize, brutalize kenyans cannot work mr ruto who seek the kenyans seek nothing more than justice and accountability they are owed is a betrayal of the highest order is it not treason mr president for killing your own people who are not terrorists in the past week we have have been bombarded with news scandals and numerous distractions and revelations designed to scatter our anger and fracture our unity do not let the enemy confuse you this tactics aims to sow seed of doubt divert your focus and dilute your power forget about osama otero he was not a leader he just he was bought and i think he will never do anything in life with the money that root of the corruption that he the corrupt money that he was paid to betray the movement to show that the movement is not moving you understand our enemy is one singular and has a name the name is william ruto do not go for the cabinet ministers do not go for the the css the called so called css the only problem we have in this country is the mp's and william ruto because even the mp's they approved those useless ministers that ruto presented to them they approved them to be ministers you understand so we cannot say anything less than all mp's must go home and ruto the ruto whole government will have to go home we don't want to, to know we call our mps to heed the will of kenyans and prepare to incoming resignation we issue parliament two weeks at matam to establish the ibc action points two to three weeks of focus kenya ibc tuesday and ruto thursdays ruto must go thursdays we are tribeless, we are partless, and we are leaderless. This is the memo for the genesis, the plan. And so, with this kind of thing, I, I, I know the government will not be able to be collecting revenue. You understand? What do we mean by revenue? You see, like in Nairobi, when there is a, when the genesis said, we will go for the mandamano, the government sent police there no business all businesses are closed down the county used to collect a lot of money through parking and a lot of stuff the county government in all cities across the country they no longer do so and if we do like this up, up to the end of this year this government will become bankrupt all the county governments will become bankrupt because you know no business is going on and that is what we want we, we don't have to be toiling and working a lot for only a few individuals to be flossing with watches of 20 million and wherever we sit aside and look and do nothing as we we clap for them it is very unfortunate that we have been doing these things for the past but now the mps are even afraid because they see you know mo used to rule he used to rule with an iron fist yes but he used to make sure that the Mwanainchi has some money in his pocket. He used to make sure that there is food, food security, like agriculture. Well, he knew agriculture must work, not to bring a uh, cocoa of fertilizer as sand and sell to the people as you claim it is fertilizer. At the end of that, what we get is that we don't have food security because the farmers have not been able to produce the food. 
now what we get is that angry citizens who are ready to eat anyone alive that's why even if you shoot they are still coming that is the problem that Ruto does not understand he was misled that he can paralyze agriculture and paralyze everything across the country the citizens are angry are hungry and they are angry an angry man a hungry man is an angry man you cannot undo that mr ruto i think this is the end of your regime because uh, you are not ready to listen you have useless mps you have uh, you've bought all the mps and you have the wrong cabinet because you see machogo is a deal how can a DO be ahead of a education sector you have just messed the whole education of the country by putting in someone like machogo even i heard something like uh, this uh, george magoha died because he saw you have appointed someone even who is not uh, who cannot work in the education sector and then we were transitioning from 844 to this new system and so if you put there a person who is clueless you have messed up the whole education you go to the health sector you find that you put there someone called nakumicha i don't know what is a, what is a profession but i'm sure that she's not even qualified to be the minister for health you have messed up the health sector number another thing murkomen is a lawyer how can a lawyer be in charge of roads actually sincerely speaking a lawyer a corrupt lawyer he has never won any case this is a corrupt lawyer who want to show us he has a watch of 50 million you understand now how will we you know if we don't have good roads if we don't have good education if we don't have good health sector the country depends on those things so much if we don't have those we cannot move forward because if someone is sick and he wants to go to hospital we need a good road not a road uh, with the potholes whereby even the car cannot penetrate and and go and pick these people we need good schools because education is the future of the country if the young kids education is messed up they we have no future you see now you cannot even uh, shoot these kids and finish them you trying to shoot them but you they are still coming how do, how uh, how do you feel mr president when you, sh you shoot these people and uh, they they are still coming they they are not afraid of any bullets people have been afraid of bullets before now you see they are not even afraid of those they are not afraid of cannon they are not afraid of the military why can't you sit down and see in fact we don't want you to sit down we just want you to live with your government completely even if you can the can't people are asking us oh the country will go to Somalia. It's better to stay the Somali way. You know that you don't have a government. You, you, it's better to stay the Sudanese way, where you, by you know that you don't have a government, than stay like uh, slaves as few people party in your front. They overtax you. They force you to pay taxes as they party and throw uh, spit saliva on your face. We cannot allow that it's better for us if, if those who are asking why if he lives who will be we don't want to know because these guys are very arrogant and they are useless and they're not ready to do anything for this country do you understand so we are not ready to listen mr president you have to live with your people you have to live i saw somewhere that uh, some people were saying that uh, the president let him work give him some time for two years now is almost two years he, he we've given him almost two years he has done nothing can you show me anything that this government has done so what do you be, think that he will be able to do if we leave him to, to stay he will not be able to do anything that's what you should know in fact he will crack down all these people who have been protesting and all of them will vanish because you saw when there was the icc cases all the witnesses vanished they died all of them why because this guy is a master he's a butcher he knows how to revenge and he is ready to do anything so once you back down and that is the end of this country this guy is a ruthless guy he doesn't care about life you saw how he's speaking when police shoot people he says that i'm very happy that the police are doing good work you see this kind of person is heartless useless and we do not need that kind of leader for a future for the future of this country he must go 
router must go. So we, we whatever we want to say is that uh, all people should stay focused. You should know that uh, people fought for this country during Saba Saba. We have had a, 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 a very successful uh, 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 show to honor those people who died at Uhuru Park. So the, the struggle continues. Because in Kenya, Saba Saba Day was remembered, is remembered as one of the days when the nationwide protest took place in on July 1990. Kenyans took the streets to demand for free elections. We all know that, guys. The politician who had called for the protests were Kenneth Matiba and Charles Rubia. Those politicians were arrested days before the protest day. They were arrested before the protest began. The organizers of the day, that, that's why I can tell you now, the agencies, they don't have a leader to, to arrest. So the only thing Ruto can do is to arrest all of them. Yeah. That is the only difference between that then and now. The organizers of the day, such as Njeru Gadangu, George Anyona, and Raila Odinga, ETC, were beaten up and detained. The then, direct, the then dictator, Arab Moy, who is a reincarnation of Ruto is a reincarnation of Daniel Moy. In present-day Kenya, Saba Saba has taken a new meaning with human rights defenders, civil society organizations such as Inuka Kenya, Nisisi, Kenya Human Rights Commission, National Coalition for Human Rights Defenders, the Social Justice Centers Working Group, and Madare Social Justice Center, among others, asking for the respect of the Constitution and end to police brutality and killing, advocating for favorable and legal policy environment in Kenya. The 30th anniversary of Saba Saba, the Kenya police and law authority aghast and arrested activists who had taken to the streets to demand for basic rights. Among other things, they are asking for clean water, good housing, and end to abuse for those who are in power. So the Saba Saba today, uh, there is a lot of people who performed, Eric Wainaina, Nameless, BN, and many people uh, who have, uh, who are with the Gen Z's, they performed, the concert was organized, and it was successful, and the struggle continues, guys. We are not backing down until Ruto and his cronies, his criminals, his fellow criminals leave the stage, because we are not ready to be led by people, a group of criminals who believe that it's always about them, who believe that they have to tax us so that they can make a good living. You understand? Because a, a 20 million watch can build several schools. We all know that. A 20 million watch, the amount of used to purchase that watch can build a lot of schools, can refurbish many things, can sponsor many kids' school who are orphans. You understand? And so what I think is that uh, <clears throat> this government has failed and they think that the more they increase the tax, the more they can collect. You can only collect if you reduce the tax so that many young Kenyans will become entrepreneurs. And when be they become entrepreneurs, if we have like 10 million young entrepreneurs who have, have ventured into business, then you will have to collect revenue from 10 million businesses. You understand that? If the taxation is low but if the taxation is high these young people will not be able to become entrepreneurs because of the unfavorable policies that are in place the taxation policies and when they are not able to become entrepreneurs what happens is that you instead of 10 million businesses you will have like 200,000 businesses where you have to collect revenue and that means that you will not have enough revenue because the 200,000 businesses cannot be compared to 10 million businesses. If Kenyans had 10 million businesses, because if you have a, a lower taxation, you will have many businesses. So that logic is logical, but this regime with their all MPs, they cannot understand that. All they see is how they can buy a chopper, how they can own a, a 50 million watch, how he can have a belt of 1 million shillings, how he can have shoes of 400,000. That's how they think. So they will go to the parliament and pass useless rules that are not good for the economy. 
and we say they must go guys they this is the plan these people must go we are ready for them to leave it's better not to have a government they should leave ruto and his mps must leave we don't want them we do not need these people okay so let us fight on because the 40 people who have been killed and the 300 others who are still in hospitals uh, nursing guns like we are in a terrorist state the terrorism that is going on from this Ruto regime is very brutal and um, we cannot continue like this uh, he is a terrorist he was a criminal a war criminal in the ICC all the witnesses vanished and I think this guy Jacob Juma is with him until he exists the presidency I think if he continue being arrogant with his own MPs, the Sudis, the Didimas Barazas, the Murkomen Kipchumba, if these people are like that, I believe we will make sure that they live. And the next thing is that uh, when people go to the ballot, please guys, use your brain during voting. You can see the picture of the... You cannot tell me that all the MPs that are in parliament were elected, were rigged in. No. These people were elected. And you can see that the, what they did. They don't have any uh, empathy. They are not... They do not care for the country. They care about their stomachs and how they can eat. And so, if we elected them, please, next time when you go to the voting, try to choose a leader who can save this country do not just uh, choose because it's a party because it's religion wise because it's my tribe because what we need to be to think we have failed as citizens we must also accept that we have really failed we are the ones who chose most of these MPs we have failed as Kenyans we should understand that now our people are losing lives so something that will have prevented before during election we did not listen the former president Uhuru Kenyatta tried to warn people, but they, because of the hatred that Kenyans had at that time, you know, someone like Uhuru did not ask that he should be born in the state house. He just found himself being born in state house. You see, he was the son of the president by then. So when you say that you are fighting dynasties, you you are going to vote to remove dynasties. At the end of the day, you will not help this country. You should go to the ballot to vote for someone who can change the country, who can change how we live, who can try to help so that we live a modest life as Kenyans, so that we enjoy the fruits of being a Kenyan. But when you go to the ballot and tell me that you are going to remove dynasties, others who went to the ballot, they were saying, uh, we are going to send Baba to Bondo. Others when they were saying, we are going to vote for Ruto because he's a prayerful man. You see, these kind of things, they are making us now not to have better uh, leadership. And that's why you, we end up messing the future generations. Because when they, we choose poor leadership, the people who are coming after us, they find a very uh, useless country in front of them. And that's why these kids, you cannot see a 40-year-old pa person facing the bullets. These kids are ready for anything. And Ruto is very ruthless. You can see how he's shooting them. You understand? So the older generation, we have fo we have um, let this country down by electing useless leadership because of our thinking capacity. Because when you go to the ballot thinking that you want to vote to remove the dynasties, not to choose a leader who can work for us, then we, we are doomed as a country. You understand? If you check Sakaja himself, as a, a, a person who has a brain, if you are given Paul Kapuigada, you've seen his track record of and, and how he have worked. Eh? You understand? This guy, he is not a real politician. He was the best person to run Nairobi. But because of the useless capacity, thinking capacity that we have as Kenyans during voting times, it's like we don't have even a brain during voting. When you go there, you see, ah, Sakaja is a prayerful man. He has a Bible. I've seen him praying. He is with Ruto. Ruto is a prayerful man. Polycarp Igade is, is Uhuru's side. Uhuru is a drunkard. If you are, you, you based on those kind of things, guys, uh, 
during voting, you end up with leaders like Sakaja. Now Nairobi is, is no longer a city. It is no longer a city, I can tell you. And so, we need to wake up as Kenyans. We need to stand up for our rights. We need to think during voting. Think critically before you go to the vote. Do not think of religion. Do not think of hatred. Like hatred is when you say, I want to remove Dennis. You are you are hating on someone for being born in a royal in a ruling family by that time. Like you are very hateful of Gideon Moy. Who told you not to be born in the Gideon in the Moy family or in the what is this in the Kenyatta family? They did not choose to be born there. So next time when you go to vote, be objective. Do not just vote because of emotions, hatred, religion, or tribe. Choose a leader who can change our lives, who can focus on the future of this country, who will be there for the people, not who will be there for his stomach. So guys, we need to wake up from this problem. We need to wake up from whatever we are doing. We are not here to to uh, work for the United States. I just saw the police who were sent in Haiti. And you should know something strange happened. Huh? Immediately the police were sent to Haiti. The protests in Kenya broke out and they have never stopped up to now. You should know that. Haiti is a country that f defeated, I think, the French. You understand? This is a country where you cannot go and fight and win. Even Americans are afraid of that place. That's why they they bought, they sent money to Ruto so that he can, they paid him so that he can sacrifice his people. And I saw that these police are manning American enterprises in Haiti, which is totally wrong. Because America has 300 million people, they have to send, in fact, they are giving people green cards. They have to use these people, if they don't want their citizens to go and die in Haiti, they should use the people who have earned green card and send them to Haiti. Why they should they come to Africa and force us to fight our brothers in, 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 in the West Indies? Why? We cannot allow this kind of nonsense that uh, the president is trying to do with his uh, slave masters. This guy is a guy who wears a kaunda suit, he, he pretends to be a real African. And he is in bed with the West. He pretends that he is against them. We clap for him. But he is in bed with them. You understand? So this person was... We can say that he rigged. But there is a majority of Kenyans who voted for him. You see, someone like Wajakoya, we could not rig him in. Because he got only 60,000 votes, for instance. But Ruto got millions of votes. The only way he needed to win was if he was missing like 100,000, they could add him easily. Then someone who was... So if we decided to elect Wajakoya or someone else, it would be very... So the guy won, and if he was added votes, there's no problem. He won. And uh, we blame the Kenyans who did that. So guys, next time when you go to vote, please wake up, think critically, think of the future of the nation, before you make that grave mistake of whatever people did in 2022. It was a grave mistake for the future and we've spoiled the future of this country. Even the two years that this this leadership has messed up this country. is very hard to achieve again. Because these guys are very arrogant and they do not give a damn about you and me. So we must show them the door. So guys, I repeat... In case you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly consider subscribing and liking the video so that it can reach more people. Share it widely. We want our people to be enlightened. We don't want jokes. We want to liberate this country from whatever it is going on. Thank you guys. Keep supporting this channel and uh, let us meet in the next video. We are here to educate and enlighten our people. Thank you.